I'm snuggling up on the couch right now. It's like 9.45 in the morning because I am so freaking cold. Ever since January hit, like it just gets so cold in my apartment and I'm just freezing. This is moving week. Oh my God, crazy. We're moving on Friday. Today is Monday, January 15th. We're moving on the 19th. We've already got started on a lot of moving stuff. Like we already have a bunch of boxes over by the windows, like in the corner over there. We're just gonna like keep packing up slowly for the next few days. We've been really prepared the last few moves, but like we wanna be like, like really prepared this time and make it really easy on them and just like even do some stuff ourselves because we're just moving in the complex so super easy probably gonna be super quick and then you guys are gonna see the new place probably not gonna do an apartment tour or anything we're not gonna get any like new stuff but we do which you can kind of see we do have a new tv stand that we got and it's from yida home they sent it to us a few weeks ago and said put it together it took a lot of work and it's like literally the best tv stand we've ever had it makes our tv look so big it has an electric fireplace and like mood lighting in it i just love where we live like so much and i was so gung-ho about it last year when we first moved here so you guys know how obsessed i am with it here like we're never moving like we go on our walks and we're like oh my god i'm so happy we ended up here because we've tried so many different cities in orange county we've tried anaheim we've tried santa Ana, we've tried irvine which i love and i'm really close to irvine that was like my first apartment that i ever lived in was in irvine we live very close to that now when i'm making my oatmeal i just put whatever amount of oats I'm hungry for cinnamon and water or you could do like any milk or almond milk that you want heat that up for a minute and 30 seconds then I just take this which is just sugar-free maple syrup whatever and I put a ton of it in here <laughs> it's kind of a lot I know but it makes it really sweet and good and I eat the whole thing and it keeps me full for like a few hours <laughs> I've just been so busy doing life stuff. I've been doing moving stuff and I was like on my game I was on my YouTube grind in December and don't worry. I'm not letting it take a back seat I haven't been like intentionally just like being lazy with it and not filming your girl has been very very busy Especially with moving stuff. We are moving tomorrow. It is currently January 18th I'm so excited officially not having to pay rent. It's a beautiful place It's in such a good location and it's still in the beautiful complex that we love so I'm very very excited about it It's been a lot of work moving we have been moving for like a week we've been cleaning out everything we're gonna have a fresh start at the new place we're not bringing any junk or anything that we don't need to the new place everything is so cleaned out and like just necessities it feels so freaking good so we are just taking our necessities to the new place and we're gonna have a whole new fresh start tomorrow but today i got ready did some instagram content with my bestie kayla i feel like i've explained who she is i feel like i talk about her a lot in my vlogs now because i see her like multiple times a week <laughs> maybe like once a week i met her when i was six years old and my other best friend emily we literally all met when we were six and all left elementary school together as like besties and then we all started walking home and realized we all lived right next to each other on the same street so we literally like by fate like those are my fate girl like those are my sisters like i've known them forever we still hang out all the time go get coffee and take instagram pictures emily lives in san diego we live in orange county so a little bit of a drive to see emily but we love her so much wish she was with us every day that we hang out I got to hang out with her today and see her baby nyla i'm just so obsessed with her she's so freaking cute literally everyone's making me want a baby now like i want a baby so we'll see <laughs> just kidding not yet not yet a few more years probably imagine like a little me you guys or like a little seb uh yeah, that's what I was doing today. I got this cute coffee. This is from a place called Morning Lavender. It's in Tustin in Orange County. And look at the cup. Like, shut literally shut up like we just took the cutest pictures ever and the coffee is delicious it's a small store small little cafe and it has like clothes it's so cute i'm obsessed like the clothes are literally to die for anyways <laughs> i want to talk to you guys about the fact that i recently told you guys just kind of like i was whatever with my diet and stuff and ever since i stopped filming youtube like i was kind of posting a bunch and then i stopped i also was going really hard trying to get the couple of pounds i gained off and everything's starting to fit good again that was the main thing was the fact that like my jeans were starting to get tight on me and that was really stressing me out because that's like a good telltale sign that like 
I'm putting on a few pounds. It's been like four weeks just about since I've been on this like really good health grind and I have been killing it. Everything fits good again. I'm much happier. I feel like myself again in a way. I'm not going to make this whole video about like weight loss and stuff. I feel like I've done so many of those and I can definitely make more videos dedicated to that but um and maybe you guys want to hear about it. I don't know but I just don't want to like bombard you guys with like my random weight loss situations that I do because I just told you guys recently pretty much that I was just kind of chilling out with weight loss and I wasn't trying but then I was like you know what you kind of have to try because that's how you just slowly start gaining the weight you know is like if you just let it go like you can't let it go unchecked you have to kind of check yourself so I've been checking myself the last four weeks and it's been working and I feel like I'm back to where I feel good and everything fitting and actually my smaller jeans fitting again so really really excited about that um but yeah that's kind of the tea I just want to let you guys know I have been going hard on my health journey I can film that if you guys want to see it I might put some of that in this video this is probably just gonna be like a moving in a health vlog I don't really know now I exercise I exercise all the time you guys like exercising is my favorite thing in the world just to walk around the trails here it's not even like trails it's like literally just like the neighborhoods it's like rich neighborhoods and like it's just so fun to walk around because you just get to see all these pretty houses and like beautiful greenery and like I live pretty close to the mountains and like very like inland Orange County kind of it's hard to explain so it's just very like naturey and gorgeous so we're just walking all the time and I just feel so healthy compared to even my last video that I filmed for you guys like I've just been so healthy I've been a much better version of myself um I really haven't eaten much today but I've had two coffees so I really want to get like an acai bowl or a chicken rice bowl or something good something healthy um because we've literally already packed up everything in the house we have like no food and no utensils like we packed up everything mm. <laughs> vanilla latte with oat milk bruh so good it's so good so yeah i get to go look at the pictures now that is like the best part i still have so much moving stuff to do but i'm gonna go look at the instagram pictures that we just took yeah so this is your sign to get up and at them and be active and eat healthy and feel your best for the new year because it's the new year we have to slay 2024 okay we have to slay 2024 mm. Mm. she's thick she's creamy she's beautiful uh, uh. morning lavender you gotta go. It's been a long few days, okay? She's gonna have to forgive what I look like right now. You're really just gonna have to forgive me. We just moved into our place. I love this unit 10 times more than I think I loved the last one, which is crazy because I love the last one more than any other apartment we've ever lived in. And this one just takes the cake. The location, the comfy vibes, the layout of it. I'm just realizing now how badly we didn't need a two bedroom. We just really didn't need it. There was a lot of open space and it made the apartment very cold. We were like facing the outside of the complex so we didn't feel like we were like really involved if that makes sense. Now we're like fully immersed in the complex. We're right next to the gym, the pool, the leasing office, the mail room. It feels like community vibes. We're going to kind of like slowly redecorate and like up our vibe because just a lot of the stuff I had I'm just getting rid of. I'm getting rid of a lot of the like astrology stuff i'm not hanging that up i'm not gonna give it that like whimsical vibe but that i feel like was my style a few years ago it's just like not my style anymore but i'm not gonna spend my time like trying to shop and like buy new decor right now it's just not something that we need to do and i just i used to care so much about that and like doing apartment tours i'm not doing an apartment tour this time so i'll just like show you guys in videos and like you guys will see how cute it is like i said we're not at all done i have so much stuff everywhere like that elephant is not staying there but but he's cute. He's been hanging out with me on the coffee table. We got a new blanket for the couch and it is so soft and cozy. Sorry, it's just been lived in, okay? I'm not here doing an apartment tour. I'm sorry. <laughs> the blanket's amazing. It was actually only $28, I think, from Walmart. It was literally so cheap. And so many blankets want to charge you like $200 for a big one. Definitely run to Walmart and get that. This is... The beautiful TV stand. So I'm probably only going to keep the amethyst crystal and the candle on the TV stand, but I'm definitely going to put this and like this candle and stuff. It's my bridesmaid candle from when I was in Emily's wedding. Um, I'm going to put that on the gold decor that I have that like hangs up on my wall. So this is going to be like empty and it's going to look a lot better. There's just like a lot of stuff everywhere. We were so exhausted. We really didn't do much this weekend of like organizing and decorating. But yeah, this is my TV stand, an electric fireplace. It was sent to me from me to home. I have never been more obsessed with something in my whole life. I'm not even kidding. So there's lights in here. I'm actually not sure how to turn it on. Seb does all of it. I also put some cute decor in there. 
So it has little spaces for you to like put stuff in, which I think is so cool. Seb puts his gaming headphones there and then more decor. All you need is love and a shih tzu. So fucking cute and so true. It's sturdy, it's heavy, it's very good quality. The fireplace is like a second piece, so it, there you go, yeah. I think it pulls out. I don't wanna mess it up, but yeah, the fireplace is like a second piece. You use this remote. Tell me that's not the coolest thing ever. If you can see my outfit right now, it's like literally Christmas socks and purple sweatpants. Love that. And it's so toasty, like down here. It literally warms my entire apartment up in about 30 minutes to an hour. I haven't had to run the heat or anything like that because it is really cold in California right now. And this is keeping us warm. So that is going to come so clutch in the fall and winter time when it does get a little bit cold here in California. So go get yourself one. I will put the link in the description. I still don't know where we're gonna put that picture. So down this hallway is a laundry room. Literally huge, honestly, like so much storage. I definitely need to do a load of laundry today. This is our bathroom which also has tons of more storage, more storage than we probably had before. But she's so cute, she looks just like our last house. I put this little plant I had in our kitchen in the last place, I put it in the bathroom, I think it looks so cute. Still need to hang this picture up, this is from the Sawdust Festival in Laguna Beach we got last summer. I think I'm gonna put it like right there, that'll look pretty good. This shower curtain, I don't know, I'm like honestly obsessed with this and I feel like lighter tones open up the house so I've been trying to stick with like lighter tones and it looks so good. Um, and then this is my favorite part. Look at the baby. She always wants to see. This is our closet. It's a little bit different. In the last place, we each had our own closet, so that was really nice. But it fits. It works. It's really not that cramped. It kind of looks cramped. I started organizing everything. And I have, like, dresses, tops that I wear, more tops that I wear, jackets, sweaters, something like that. Sweaters up there, jackets down there. And I have all my rave stuff in here. I have rave shoes, my regular most worn shoes, other shoes, and sneakers over there. My pajamas. These are socks we need to find a match to. If we don't find a match in the next day or two, I'm throwing them out. And this is Seb's side. So I obviously have most of the closet, but that just has to happen, you know? I also ended up putting this mirror right here, so kind of cool. I just didn't really have anywhere to put it. All my bottoms, bikinis. I have some accessories right here. I have extensions. Like you can just like shower and then come get on your PJs. That's where the living room is, obviously. That's where we just came out of. So then you can close this door and then you open up this one in the bathroom and you're in the bedroom isn't that just so cool i haven't made the bed yet today don't judge me usually i'm actually really good about that haven't fully unpacked everything like i said i have my jewelry both of our mood light lamps seb has a picture frame of him and his dad my vanity my makeup drawer hallie's bed which is like literally giant and just like more storage and stuff and then my little mannequin isn't it cute i just had to show you this is my computer area front door hall closet fridge cabinets are honestly so organized and just everything feels very similar to our last place but just like better and more comfortable and more organized toaster sugar-free cookies seasonings utensils coffee keurig so yeah our cute little kitchen and then Callie loves to go outside our patio is a little smaller than the last place but once again it's just enough of what we need. Callie absolutely loves looking down at everything and we just have like a beautiful view. I'm not going to show too much, but Thank you. 